Welcome back to Astro Art. I'm Alexi and in this second part of our tutorials we are diving into the fascinating world of moon image processing. There is a new version of AutoStacker so let's use that for processing. I've also experimented with AstroSurface, the results between programs vary depending on the image with no clear winner yet. AutoStacker 4 looks promising. We'll start by converting our high-speed video footage into a single image file using AutoStacker 4. Then we'll enhance this image using different tools. I will give you both the free version and the paid program version images to compare. First, we need to import our video into AutoStacker 4. This is a powerful tool for astrophotographers aiming to process planetary and lunar imagery. It analyzes each frame of the video, selecting the clearest ones to stack into a single high-quality image. Similar techniques apply to the moon, planets and solar imaging. Okay, so the first step is to open AutoStacker 4. Then click Open to select your video file or just drag the video on top of the program. Under Image Stabilization I have selected Surface since I have image of the surface of the moon and improved tracking. And I don't want this to crop my image so I will choose Expand. Under Quality Estimator I have selected Automatic that works pretty good and under Reference Frame I have also selected Automatic. One thing you can look at is this Image Stabilization Anchor. You want this to be somewhere where is a lot of contrast. In this scenario this works really good for me, but if you want to move this around, you can press Ctrl and click. Alright, everything is set and the next step is to hit Analyze. After analyzing the video, it's time to place alignment points. Currently my alignment point size is 48 and I have multi-scale selected. So let's see what happens. The idea is that the alignment points are on top of the moon. If you have these boxes all over the place, you might want to change some settings, especially this brightness value. In the stack options, choose your image file to TIFF and the frame percentage to stack. You can do multiple stacks to compare if you wish. For example, I can do 20% of the frames and 50% of the frames. And lastly, I'm going to drizzle my image and hit stack. After stacking, the image is saved in a subfolder where the original video was. Keep these organized if you are making more attempts at stacking. Next, we'll use Registax to sharpen our stacked image. Registax offers wavelet processing, a technique perfect for enhancing specific details like craters and lunar mares. Open Registax and load your stacked image. I am going to click Use Linked Wavelets and then adjust these sliders to enhance the detail in this image. Apply adjustments and watch as the surface features become more pronounced. Final step is to save your enhanced image. EMPBG is another fantastic tool for improving image clarity and contrast. We'll use it to further refine our image, focusing on contrast enhancement and noise reduction. First step is to open EMPBG and import your image from Registax. Use the slider to check what sigma on the deconvolution tool works best. Final step is just to save your image. Pixinsight is a bit more complex but extremely powerful. Usually you want to use restoration filters or different deconvolution or sharpening tools for lunar imaging. In this case, since we have an excellent image already, I will use a little AI to enhance the image. We'll try the Blue Exterminator tool for the lunar surface. The process is simple, just leave everything automatic and set about 0.4 on the sharpen non-stellar objects. This applies a small amount of extra sharpening to the image, but you will see its great effects overall. 
Remember, with any AI tools there can be false artifacts, so check the image and use the tool correctly. It's not made for lunar images, but it works on some occasions. All of these processes are trial and error based, so you test something and see if it works or not. Our last step is to bring our detailed moon image into Photoshop for some creative adjustments. Use levels or curves to make final contrast and lighting adjustments. You can still apply sharpening or smart sharpening, but be careful with those adjustments. And the final step is to save your masterpiece. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the processing stages. Be sure to check out our last video where I captured an image of the moon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the night sky. Yeah.